right you guys got another video here for you now if you're into building older systems then updating the BIOS is an important part of uh, the building process you can see here I've got a motherboard of DQ77MK and uh, we're going to be updating that BIOS now this is a motherboard uh, made by Intel and uh, it's quite an old motherboard so I wanted to show you this process because if you are building uh, systems you will need to keep the BIOS updated you can see the date of this BIOS has been updated from the 10th of the 25th 2018 which is very important because that means they are still releasing BIOS updates in 2018 for this particular type of old motherboard now if you look here you can see the download page for this Intel and this is where you're going to get all your updates for your BIOS and other types of updates for the audio drivers and stuff like that. And I'd like to see Intel updating their older systems, which a lot of manufacturers probably won't even bother anymore. Whereas Intel are still releasing updates for this particular type of board, which I think is fantastic. So what we're going to do here is roll out some updates for this system. I'm going to be doing the BIOS in this video. And I'll do the other updates uh, off camera but let's go ahead and uh, click on the BIOS update here now there's a different way of updating the BIOS here you can see the download for the BIOS is here which is 10 megabytes in size and uh, what we can do here is click on this and accept and this will download uh, the BIOS update for us now another thing that you can do is when this comes down we're going to be installing this via the flash drive so you're going to need to make sure that you've got a USB flash drive available to you now you can also use a CD and uh, other methods as well like iFlash and stuff like that but we're going to be using the uh, USB flash drive uh, for this one so let me just open this up and show you the flash drive I've got it in here I've named it BIOS it's a 32 gigabyte uh, sand disk uh, flash drive which you can pick up pretty cheap nowadays and uh, I'll be using that to flash uh, my BIOS so let's go ahead and close this off here now I just wanted to show you the different methods of uh, flashing a BIOS with these older motherboards here now as you can see here uh, this will give you all the instructions on how to do it and you can see Express BIOS update that's to do with that in Windows now I would not advise you to do that it's very volatile and very dangerous so you've got F7 uh, BIOS flash update which is on a non-bootable flash drive now you can see here F7 BIOS flash update is available for Intel and desktop boards beginning from 2009 also iFlash BIOS update which is a bootable uh, USB flash drive so you've got that option there and also the ISO image BIOS update which is for a CD and also bootable or non-bootable and then you've got the recovery BIOS update here which is just in case you run into issues and you need to roll back or put an older BIOS onto that system and recover the system and you can see here they've got uh, PDF files here to show you how to do this which gives you all the information you need on how to flash an older type BIOS on an older uh, motherboard which is very useful especially if you are building older systems and buying used parts on eBay and stuff like that it's very important that you get the latest and greatest updates uh, for those boards because it's going to support uh, more modern hardware and stuff like that so you can see here I've got the BIOS downloaded I'm going to open this up and all I'm going to do here is just drag this onto my uh, USB flash drive here. Now I'm going to be using the F7 method, which is a non-bootable uh, USB flash drive. And again, I wouldn't advise you to do this from Windows itself. It's a bit risky. Try and do it from uh, the actual uh, USB flash drive, whether it be bootable or um, non-bootable. It's entirely up to you. So I've got that on there now. And what I need to do now is uh, put this into the computer and uh, boot uh, that, that computer up and then we can start to uh, flash the BIOS. Now I'm going to show you a quick way of getting all the information uh, for this particular type of motherboard. So if you're on your computer here what you can do is come down to the search box here and type in here MS Info and then click on the system information and what that's going to do is open up a box here where you can get information about your system 
and inside here it will give you the system model which is the DQ77MK which is the motherboard which is in uh, this computer build here so if you've got a different motherboard it will be listed here and uh, also it will give you the BIOS uh, information and the processor you can see the BIOS version date is here and you can see the BIOS was flashed uh, 2013 which was a long long time ago and uh, they have got a, an up-to-date version of 2018 so you can see how far outdated that BIOS is and it's important to get the latest and greatest BIOS updates for modern hardware and other issues that you may be having uh, with that system it will make it more stable so what we're going to do here is uh, boot to our USB flash drive so I'm going to restart the system and uh, I've plugged in the USB flash drive you can see it come up on the bottom right hand corner there I'm going to restart and I'm going to tap the F7 key because that is the method that we're going to use to flash our BIOS so let that um, restart the system and there we go now you can see that icon there that was a company that owned this motherboard back then so we're going to be getting rid of that as well and putting the Intel uh, logo back up there and you can see I've just pushed uh, F7 and now we can see our USB flash drive uh, which is up the top called Ultra so I'm going to select the Ultra which is my USB flash drive with my BIOS update on it and you can use the mouse uh, if you want to or you can use your keyboard it's entirely up to you now we can see the dot bi zero uh, extension there for our file click on this and it will say are you sure you want to update your bios with that file and i'm going to say enter for yes and that's what i want to do it will restart the system and go into the flashing method the way it's going to flash your bios you can see that logo is still there you don't have to touch the keyboard at this stage you can see flashing motherboard firmware and it will go through and I've speeded this process up but you can see it's flashing all those firmwares uh, on that board and uh, it should say uh, successful at the end you can see Intel management engine firmware has been done as well graphic firmware main uh, block firmware recovery block firmware and all that sort of good stuff has been flashed which is nice that means it's all updated so I'm just going to let that run through and uh, it should then say successful now you can remove the USB flash drive and boot the system back up it may do a couple of quick reboots and you can see that logo has now gone and we've got the Intel one back up and I do like the look of this nice little Intel visual BIOS it looks quite nice and uh, Bit more modern and uh, you can see all the settings are here you can see the BIOS version is listed there we have been successful to uh, get our BIOS installed onto this motherboard which is going to be good you've got a much better cooling system here you can change to quiet or cool and uh, I do like the look of it it's, it's quite a nice looking BIOS this it's, it's very simple and very basic it's only a basic motherboard but it's quite nice to uh, see uh, Intel still updating older type motherboards and giving you BIOS updates for those because a lot of people are still using older hardware going into the advanced BIOS you can see here you've got a very simplistic layout gives you all the information about the CPU and also about the memory and uh, the timings and stuff like that so I'm going to reboot the system and get into the desktop here and we're just going to check to see uh, whether the BIOS has gone in successful by using the MS info method and I'll quickly do that to show you so just let this boot up to the desktop here and just make sure everything is okay now if you do have any problems flashing uh, the BIOS and you're having issues with it then maybe the BIOS you're trying to flash is wrong or it's not right or it's not been successful and you will need to do the recovery method and then go back to an older version of BIOS. Now let's go back down to the search here and type MS info and this will give you all the information you need about the system and we can click on system information and this will open up our system information window and uh, what we're looking for here is the BIOS version date and you can see it's got the very latest date on it 
the 25th of the 10th 2018 so that BIOS flash was successful and we've now got all the latest firmware updates in that BIOS flash and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can flash an Intel motherboard uh, with the latest BIOS and features my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one's been helpful to you. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.